my earliest memories sitting around a breakfast table with my grandfather eating a half red papaya. I'm here in Dembula in far north Queensland to learn how this fruit is grown, packed and sent out for everyone in Australia to enjoy this taste of paradise. Chris, I'm excited. This is one of my favourite ingredients, just for how versatile a uh, yellow slash green pawpaw is. What's the difference with the, the, the red papaya and the yellow pawpaw? Is it just the flavour, the colour, the texture? A bit of everything. Um, they, they, they're similar in, in the sense that they're, they're both off, the way that they're grown, they're both off the same circa papaya tree. Um, the varieties are, are what, what denotes the difference. The reds have more sugar, a bit less of that pungent smelling taste, and they lend themselves to the, to the modern consumer. So how many acres do you have of, of, of pawpaws? Of pawpaws themselves, we're, we're running right now about, uh, about six, five hectares of, oh, wow. of yellow pawpaw. How many trees do you have? Just, in, just maybe in this row, like what are we in, talking? In this row, well, the, the density is about 1,750 per hectare. Oh, wow. So there's quite a few, there's okay. quite a few. So it just goes forever, eh? It does, it does. I'm guessing you have a really small window of, of kind of when you have to pick transport to make sure they arrive in a beautiful, pristine state. So yes. is, that, yeah. is that one of the biggest challenges? We take plenty of measures to, to try and ensure the integrity of the fruit during the harvest packing and transporting uh, process. We, we pick onto, uh, onto, onto line trailers and, and transport Oh, that. wow, so everything's hand-picked. Every, everything's hand-picked. Everything's picked, hand picked. And, we, and we visit every tree every week. Wow. We, we try and ensure that we pick them just to the right amount of ripeness so that we ensure good flavour and, and the fruit's not too backwards going into the market. Too ripe and they're, and they're hard to transport and too green, they, they don't ripen correctly in the stores. Yeah, wow. So we've got to be, we've got to be on the money every time. So sometimes when I'm using them green, the seeds change colour. So sometimes they're, they're white and sometimes, and when they're ripe, they're black. That's right. So if they're still black, if they're black, that means that it's changing, they're, they're going to ripen? It's, it's ripening. It's in its, it's in its ripening process, yeah. The fruit's coming to maturity. And if you um, pick it and the seeds are white, it's no longer going to ripen. That's right. That, that, that flesh is going to stay nice and crispy and firm for you while you're yeah, using it for okay. a cooking. So, Louis, let's let's have a look inside one of these. <laughs> yes, yeah, give me a look. Show me your chopping skills. Oh, here we go. So, when we pick them, get a little snap. Yeah, right, wow. Jeez, look at that. Good colour. This is this is about the stage where we would we would like to pick. Um, because it's it's green enough to where it'll transport well. Yeah. And then it'll ripen well. Great, so then it just ripens and it's perfect for the breakfast table. Ripens and ready for you to use at home. <laughs> All right, let's go then. Exactly. What an awesome time with Chris. Right up at Rocky Top Farms in Dimbula, learning everything about the papaya. It's cool because I've used papayas in all sorts of my cooking and ate them a lot growing up. So it's awesome to see just how he produces them, farms them and ships them all over Australia. Today I'm going to show you a green papaya salad or as we call it, som tam. Pretty much a staple in every Thai restaurant. It's always on the table for banquets, to freshen it up. It's really simple and easy to make. First, what we got, we got a green papaya, and I've actually bought this little papaya shredder that you can find at your local Asian grocer, and they make this job really easy. So first, I'm just gonna peel it, as you would a normal vegetable. So we'll just take the ends off, 
Then we'll just peel the skin off, just like that. So you can see how nice and hard the papaya is when it's green. So it's always used in salads, also really great texture in soups as well, in Asian cuisine. So there we go, it's nice and peeled. All the greens off, and now we take our shredder, and what we do, we just run it down the papaya like so. You don't have to put too much pressure. The more pressure, the larger the shreds will be. And then as you're shredding, you just rotate the papaya. So just keep rotating until you make your way down to the core or the seeds. And you can see when you get close to the seeds, that's actually where the fruit ripens first. So we'll ripen close to the seed first so we can start to get down to that beautiful red flesh from the red papaya, like Chris was explaining out on the farm. And there we go, when it starts to turn red, we'll finish up. And then you can just see how perfect that is. All right, now our papaya shredded. I'm gonna pop him to the side. And I'm gonna start with our dressing and other ingredients into the salad. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make the dressing and the salad in this small mortar and pestle, and we'll just transfer it and give it a good mix. So first things first, we're gonna add some garlic and a little bird's eye chili and give that a good smash. Okay, once we've got that garlic and chili really nice, we're gonna add some dried shrimp. And this one, we wanna give it a good pound as well, so it mixes through. So for the next part of the salad, we actually want to do the opposite. We don't want to pound it and puree it and juice it. We just want to really gently bruise the beans. Just a few pounds, just to make sure they're not too hard. And then the same with the tomatoes. We just want to gently release some of that beautiful sweet juice, but we don't want to pound them up too much. And with the peanuts, same again, gentle crush. Now we're going to create the dressing inside the mortar and pestle as well. I'm going to add our fish sauce. Add some sugar to help balance. Add some lime juice. Give that a good stir. Put all those flavours mix in, just like that. Perfect. And then literally just add all that dressing into the papaya. We're just going to use a bit of elbow grease and break that papaya down. like that and get stuck in. Okay, once we've got a good mix, I'm just going to grab our serving plate. Start to layer it up. all of that dressing and those ingredients, all those crunchy peanuts, tip it all over. And this is a staple, the vegetable component in all Thai banquets, the beautiful humble som tam, green papaya salad.